<laughs> What's going on guys, Fishing the Odds, uh, fishing a coastal river with Evan and Curtis behind the camera right here, and uh, we're doing some steelhead fishing baby. We're going to be running them elevated beads this morning. I have a little, uh, I don't even know what you call it, I'm so good with elevated bead names, but it's a 10 mil, okay? <laughs> going smaller today, it's a 10 mil like winterberry I believe, and then I have a uh, all red it's not even a max jig. I don't even know what kind of jig that is. <laughs> but, check it out. Running the all red. Boom. That one's going to be the ticket today you watch. 15 fish. And we're just going to have a good time floating the river, man. We got the boys with us today. So, hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this content. And uh, check out Steel Hooker, baby. Just go to Oz15. Get you 15% off anything you purchase on their website, including Curtis and Evan. <laughs> So stay tuned guys, let's get down. Fish on, get that net. Watch all this grass out here. Oh! Ho ho ho, it broke you. Evan. Buddy. Dude. Buddy. Dude, he broke you. How was your drag? How was your leader? There's no way it just breaks it like that. You're not? No, it's broken. How? Yeah. How? I don't know, it must have, it must have dragged on some rock when I couldn't get it up over there in that corner. Mm -hmm. And it must have just went underneath it. Yeah, that's probably that's why he gave it a rest. He was waiting, waiting for it to warm up. So guys, we, we have this ongoing joke. We're like, oh, I can't wait to get to Evan's hole because he's the only one who hooks fish in here, dude. None of us hook fish, but Evan hooks them every time. Uh, this is like literally his hole, dude. Hey, is this not true, Evan? I have never hooked a steelhead in this hole. <laughs> did, did I tell you about it? I'm like, only this guy, dude. Uh, stay tuned, guys. How's it go? Someone spilled 99.9% .9 of my coffee, but it's cold out here, guys. It's like zero degrees plus or minus one. And as you can see, the sun is coming up over there. Uh, so I think what we're going to do, because Evan hooked this steelhead in here, and more times than not, it's we hook a steelhead in the hole, my mind tells me that there's four or five of them in there. Um, especially low clear like this, every time I see a steelhead in the hole, I've seen six, seven, eight, eight steelhead this year in one hole. So, I know there's another fish in there. So I think 
we're gonna let let it warm up just a little bit, let that sun come over the hill, and then drink some coffee, and uh, pretty soon Evan will get another one in there. Because <laughs> we don't hook them in this hole, this Evan. Fish on, boys. Right when that sun came up. I thought that was a snag at first, dude. I was watching the body the whole time. <laughs> Little guy will take it. Sick, dude. Looks like it's a hatchery. Yeah. Nicely done, boys. You're right back in that same spot. Nice. <laughs> Hey, right when that sun came up. Oh, just had to wait a little bit. Yep. Cold hands, but it was worth it. Dude, beautiful buck. Nice, bud. First light. I got it. Nice, dude. Let's First steal of the year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were right. We let that hole rest, man. And we got another fish out of it for it because we just knew there'd be still that in there. And uh, needless to say, Curtis threw a, a bead in there and plucked one out after we let it rest for a little bit. So uh, that sun hit the water and it honestly warmed up like four or five degrees out in the air. Like, and it probably warmed up that water just to half of a degree maybe in that section. And uh, Enough to turn the bite on to get a fish. So we're floating down, looking for more buckets. Hopefully, hopefully we can get another sealer on camera for you. Stay tuned. I don't know why there's no steelhead in this hole but it's literally got all the characteristics of a good seal at hole. It's like four feet deep, it's got cover, it's got the outside seam that just drops straight off. It's got all this little cobble that steelhead love. And every time I come here, I beat it up and never get one. Doesn't mean that when the water's up a little bit that it's not a better hole. It just, I'm gonna keep trying until I get one. That's a big one. <laughs> Saw that bucket, had to get a drift in there. Good thing we did. Hatchery or wild? Hatchery. Dude. Curtis. Nice hen. Damn, look at 
they were talking Dude, that's up. a nice fish. Yeah, it's been through some, through the ringer, bro. Look at it. It yeah. looks like it's been through the gill net. Let's go. Right Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish, though, right there. Hey, bro. Beads are on fire today. I'm going to have to call it that one before I grab it. Here. That's a limit for you, buddy. That is. It's always a good day when you limit on some winter steelhead. Always good tugging on some winter steelhead. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Robert just drained in the tail out. Love to see it. Beautiful fish. Hey, you want to reel this in? No way, dude. No way. Oh my god. <laughs> Hatchery. No. Yep. No, Misclip. Yep. yep. That's good. Hatchery. Let's go. Crawl, bro. That thing is fresh. Crawl. Let's go. Let's go. Another fish on the striker rod, guys. Man, these rods. Elevated bead again, does the trick. Look at that, guys. Nice little fighting fish, too. This thing was jumping down there. It was actually a really good fight. This thing is pegged, though. This thing was not coming out. Hell yeah, guys. Beautiful little buck. little tiny hole had two fish sitting in it and they were biters. Curtis and I pulled them out. There might be another couple in there but they're not biting. Um, but needless to say it's been a good day. Curtis got his limited steelhead today. Um, uh, Evan lost the first steelhead of the day, jumped and broke broke his leader and then um, I landed a steelhead and I had I had another couple bobber downs that were very promising. So it's, it's been a good day. We still have quite a bit to float so there's still opportunity for Evan and I to catch another fish and, and keep on keeping on. So stay tuned, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Gonna pull anchor right now. Curtis gets his foot off the snake. Gonna pull the anchor and get on. Hell yeah, Evan. There's a lot of timber. You need to get out.
We were literally about to leave. You're okay. Red and white addicted jig just hooked that fish. So the thing about it, we were actually pulling anchor and then we seen a fish roll. And we're like, what? They're stacked in there, bro. If one just rolled, so. So there we go. Yeah, dude, it was right there. Dude, for that's, us, six, that's six fish we've got today. Yeah. Got a nice fish on. Hopefully we can land it. I need one more fish to get a limit, so let's we'll see what happens. That thing is a ghost, you can't even see him. Uh, it's a little smaller fish. It's a hen too. Don't have a need for eggs, so. I'll let this fish go, just keep it in the water. Elevated B. Pretty little fish. He got that thing good. All right, here we go, guys. Beautiful little hen, but I don't really need a hen. I'd rather kill a buck for the for the meat. So Let's get her back in the current. Get her going. It's like a ghost. Oh yeah, guys, subscribe. It's fishing better. He's in the woods over there, dude. There's a lot of timber over there. Okay. All right, guys, everyone's got a fish on. Could be a potential limit. You see, the way that thing was going, dude, that far side, perfect. Hell yeah, guys. What a day. Hey, this doesn't happen very often, guys. What a day. We're excited about it. Good fighting fish, dude, this fish. That jig in the mouth, boys. It's a 
limit. Nice job, guys. Nice job. How does it feel, dude? Feels pretty damn good. Thanks, Alex, for the little handoff. First limit of winter steelhead. Beautiful day out, you guys. Woo, buddy. Wow. On a red maxi jig, guys. Beautiful fish. That's a limit for me today. Um, I didn't have to take this fish home, but I figured I would because I got family in town and, and they want some steelhead and I want some steelhead. So I'm also going to do a big smoke pretty soon. So we're going to be smoking a lot of fish. Excited to get it done this this weekend, man. It's a good day, man. Not every day you're on the river is like this, but you got to come out here and grind for the days like this. So as you can see, epic. <laughs> it's hard to explain, man. I've fished this river a lot of times, and oftentimes you're coming home with one fish. So for us to time it the way that we did today is amazing, and that's all we can ask for, man. Um, bobbers were draining left and right, double-digit day. I mean, it was just amazing. I mean, you guys got anything to say about it? Got it was amazing. Of, yeah. <laughs> what it, you was, for. it was amazing, for sure. Yeah. Crazy. Honestly, a lot of stuff worked today. I was running all elevated beats today. A couple different types of jigs. I had Maxi jigs on there, and I had, what's that other one you were saying? Get them dry. I had a get them dry jig on there. Um, Evan was running B&R beats, elevated beats. Same with him, B&R beats, elevated beats, and then what else were you running? Uh, some Hawking jigs. There you go. A so, nightmare. Everything kind of worked today, guys, so cheers. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah, boys. All right, folks, we are rolling out. Is that a bald eagle? Hand that, right there. Right there. Zoom in. Oh, yeah, boys. All right. Thing is huge. Hell yeah. So, we're back live. No, we're rolling out, guys. Um, we limited, and uh, we had a good time, so. We will see you guys on the next one. Hopefully you enjoy it. There's nothing else I can really say to it, but we already did the outro. I just wanted to say peace out. Float into the takeout and then going home.